Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Data speed slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. James Huffman IV was convicted in December in the murder of Michael Shane Hogg. Here in Letcher Circuit Court today, Huffman was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison. Four weeks after he was found guilty of murdering 24-year-old Michael Hogg on New Year's Day 2014 and attempting to kill three other people, James Huffman IV was formally sentenced to life in prison. Victim impact statements were read during Friday's hearing, all asking Special Letcher Circuit Judge Kent Hendrickson to follow the jury's recommendation of a life sentence. Those statements included one from Hogg's mother, who talked about living life without her only son. I wake up hoping and praying that this has all been a terrible nightmare and that Mike will come back to us. But then in a split second, I realized it's not. And that I will never see Mike again until the hurt of emptiness begins. You see this poor innocent man with his fancy suit during trial, his glasses, he's portrayed as, you know, merely stabbing someone to death repeatedly in self-defense. But I see underneath that, because I can see back to who he proved to be that night. He was evil and violent, and he deserved nothing. There hasn't been one game I'm standing on the sideline coaching my high school kids and feel like <coughs> someone is going to come inside the gym and put a bullet in my head or sneak up behind me and put a knife in my back. My recommendation for an appropriate sentence for Mr. James Huffman is a sentence that allows him to spend every last day of his miserable life in prison. Hendrickson ultimately followed a portion of the jury's recommended sentence. However, not all of the jury's recommendations were followed. Kentucky law prohibits those convicted of crimes to be sentenced to more than a life term in prison. The jury had recommended Huffman serve life plus 45 years, the total of the life sentence plus the sentences handed down for the three attempted murder charges and a criminal mischief charge all to run consecutively. Hendrickson ordered the sentences to run concurrent in accordance with state law. Still, Letcher Commonwealth's attorney Edison Banks said the outcome of the trial was a clear victory. This jury did everything that one could expect and the defendant was given a fair trial. Was this a perfect trial? There is no such thing as a perfect trial, but I will guarantee you this, I do not anticipate any issues coming back on any type of appeal. It was that good. We had a very knowledgeable judge that ruled and followed the law. Huffman's defense attorney, Robert Wright, who recently told the Appalachian News Express that Huffman did not receive a fair and unbiased trial, stated again that he plans to appeal the outcome of the trial. This is the end of the case here in Letcher County, and we will certainly uh, proceed elsewhere. Um, we anticipate the judgment being entered pretty pretty quickly, and you can expect uh, the notice of appeal to be uh, entered uh, even quicker. Uh, so, um, you know, and uh, again, this is not uh, this is not the end. Uh, it's the end of it here, and uh, we're certainly uh, glad for that. Huffman's co-defendant in the murder of Michael Hogg, Patrick Smith, has yet to stand trial. Banks said a status conference in the case will be held in the coming weeks. James Huffman IV was remanded to the custody of the Letcher County Jail until he can be transferred to state prison. Michael Hogg's family declined to comment on camera following Friday's sentencing. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.